to yourself at any moment in that spectrum and, and kind of be open to moving in one direction or the other. So they become variables uh, that you are constantly adjusting between. And so rather than standards, I kind of think that uh, in education we want to look for variables. One of the binary oppositions in this work that uh, they keep it interesting, alive, and um, constantly worth reflecting upon and doing better. Um, so I would say that uh, a very important concept is the one that I've started with here. And it is a binary opposition, the way I've been thinking about it. And it is that start anywhere. Because start anywhere means both things. It means because we can start anywhere, why not start with a young person's questions and develop those into themes and passions that they want to mess with over time. And then find the things that are important in that, right? And, and you, in that case, the teacher has to trust that uh, what is important will come. The uh, other side of it, though, is that if you can start anywhere, then in theory, you could start anywhere. You know, you can start with how science fiction is a great way to study biology. <laughs> to say one thing. Or how you know, studying swallows is a great way to study how populations and ecology work. And to look at habitats and life sciences. Again, um, starting anywhere would mean that you start with something that you don't know. That you start with something you're not so passionate about. You start with something you don't have any questions about. Um, and you trust the, the teacher, the institution, the researchers who are saying, for 30 years, this has captured my attention. And you try to figure out, how's that possible? What is it that can keep this Winkler guy, Winkler guy, um, fascinated by swallows? And here's one example. One of the things that he studies, I'm not going to get it right, I wish you could go look it up, but it's oxidated stress or stress oxidated, something to that effect. What it means is that cells begin, because of stress in the environment, uh, cells begin to not completely reproduce the way that our RNA thought they would. Um, and it's because of toxicity in the system. And you can tell that I uh, understand this in a pretty thin way, except that there's something I totally get about systems and toxicity and um, and how there might be natural ways of eliminating that toxicity, but that when under stress, those natural ways don't do it, and then that poison interrupts the, the natural uh, reproduction of self, and that leads to various kinds of diseases. So I can get that. And he studies that in birds? You bet. And then that becomes a uh, an example, a way to understand how 
nature is. So, that's a good opposition, binary opposition. And I think I'll look for more of those to, to describe my philosophy of, of learning and of curriculum. So, yeah. Yeah. That's enough for now. It's just to relax and enjoy my last about 20 minutes of my run.